Hello everybody, my name is Adam or Equals Box. And welcome to my unboxing of the Turcom Pen Sketch TS6580 Pen and Touch Tablet. It's a high resolution drawing tablet. It is, I would say, considered to be a kind of generic brand. Um, and I was kind of, wasn't wanting to trust it at first because it, basically I've always heard that Wacom or Wacom has always been the way to go. I don't like trusting cheap stuff for electronics if it's going to go out on me. However, having read the reviews on many Turcom tablets and seen great reviews other than once it goes out, you just got to get a new one, I felt pretty confident in buying it. Also, the fact that it was only about $40 um, on Amazon was pretty cool. It's got 2048 levels, 230 RPS, 5080 LPI, 8x5 inches, and 0.6 inches thick, I believe. Go ahead and get it opened. Inside the box, we have, of course, the tablet itself, which is quite large. I didn't actually realize I was buying a tablet this large. However, I'm okay with that because bigger is usually better. They're just also usually more expensive. In this corner here, I believe this is the pin cup. Yeah, just a little pin cup. We have the tablet itself, which is in this nice little sleeve. It's got a protective film over it. It does connect via mini USB. I believe it is wireless as well. No, it's not wireless. This one's not wireless. But it does connect via mini USB. It's a pretty simple connection. And it's got a very nice screen to work on here. Let's go on and take this off. Just a really nice work area to work on. I think it'll be pretty cool. Next in the box we have mini USB cable of a decent length. Hopefully that'll be enough for my setup. If not, I'll have to get an extender or find another one. The pin itself, which does have dual buttons on the grip and a lovely stylus point. We'll get that open in a second. One AAA battery for the pin. Information guide and installation CD. Let's go ahead and get the pin opened here. We have the pin itself. It's got a nice rubber grip pressure sensitive tip and two buttons on it right at the thumb so you can left and right click and of course when you're not wanting to left and right click and actually use the pressure you can just move your thumb around. I don't believe if if I remember the reviews correctly I believe it does not have any racer on the tip though which kind of sucks but I'll get used to it. So to put the battery in I believe it twists apart here unscrews and the battery goes in there Let's go ahead and just put it in for the hell of it. Negative side down, positive side towards the tip. Screw it back in. So pretty simple battle, battery swapping. May switch it out to rechargeable when this one dies. I don't know how long it'll last. We have it and the tablet itself. So now we have it unboxed, it'll be time to see if it's any good. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. I'm excited to try it out, see if it works well. Feels pretty rugged, so. And then, like I said, it's a lot bigger than I was expecting, so that's a good thing. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Links to our social media as well as Patreon campaign will be in the description below as well as the outro. And I appreciate your all support. See ya!